I just thought I would film the most real pregnancy update you will probably ever see. This is what I look like and feel like pretty much every day. My hair's not done. I went to bed with wet hair. I did shower and wash my hair last night though. Haven't brushed my teeth. Wearing broken glasses. Haven't put on contacts, obviously. I'm not wearing a bra. I'm not wearing real clothes. Just a sweatshirt. Pajama bottoms. So I'm 30 weeks pregnant. Looking like crap. Feeling mostly like crap. So let's get started. Just kidding guys. Occasionally I do get dressed and get ready and I thought you deserve a little better than that. So here I am ready to film. Um, so let's get started again. Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today I have a 30 week pregnancy update. I am 30 weeks today, so I only have 10 weeks left, which is insane. This pregnancy, I've said it every video, has flown by. I can't believe I have only two and a half months or maybe less until this baby joins our family. I'm super excited, so let's get right into it. All right, so I made some notes because I always forget to tell you everything I think of. Um, so surprisingly, I thought because of some of my symptoms like my varicose veins and my SPD has started, both started so early on in this pregnancy and were so bad from the beginning, I thought by now I would be like in agony from it. But it seems like they're not really getting that much worse. Like they both started pretty much immediately around 12 weeks I noticed and by 20 weeks they were so bad. So I thought for sure by the end I would just be wanting to lay in bed all day long, which I guess is kind of true. But for the most part, they have seemed to not be getting much worse. Um, my pubic bone, pubic bone does hurt a little bit more in the evenings especially um, than earlier on in my pregnancy, but it's not like it's at a steep incline of getting worse, if you know what I mean. So I'm very grateful for that. So last week I had my appointment with my OB and I had the glucose test and they never called me so results are good. I don't have gestational diabetes which is good. Um, I didn't have it with either of my other two kids but that is just you know nice to know. So the pregnancy brain has officially started. The other night I was going to get pizza for dinner and I was leaving my house with both of my kids in the car driving to get the pizza and halfway there I realized I didn't have my wallet so I had to turn around and of course I was in a hurry I had like 30 minutes and I still had to get ready to go to an activity and I was just getting pizza for my kids and my brother-in-law who was watching them while we were gone so anyway I turn around go home get my wallet drive back out to get the pizza and when I went inside to get the pizza I just left my kids in the car with the windows down and locked the doors and I go in really quick, grab the pizza, and I get back out to the car, and I realize I don't have my keys. So I went back into the pizza place, and there they are, sitting on the counter. So basically, I am just a forgetful mess. Um, what is your worst pregnancy brain story? One of my worst, I would have to say, is when I was pregnant with Duncan, my first. It was around Christmas time, um, so I was like probably 35. No, not 35, 33 at least, 33 weeks pregnant or so, and I was out Christmas shopping, so I don't know if it was super late, but it was dark outside already, and I was at TJ Maxx, I believe, and the parking lot was completely full, like it was just Christmas time and super, super busy, and I had gone shopping, gone into the store, and I came out to the store, or came out to my car, and realized I didn't have my keys. I could not find them anywhere in my purse. And I was like, oh no, I probably locked them in my car. And I look in the car and they were still in the ignition. <laughs> so good and bad, my car won't lock if the keys are left in the ignition. So I wasn't locked out of my car. It could have been really bad because seriously, if someone was walking around, you know, it's Christmas time, just scoping out a car to steal what's inside or to steal the car itself, they would have had a gold mine. My trunk was full of Christmas presents and there my keys were sitting in the ignition, car unlocked. But anyway, story ended well. I got back in my car because it wasn't locked 
and was able to go home. That is one story that I never told my husband. I don't think he needs to know that. So as far as cravings go lately, I basically crave all the food. It all sounds good, it doesn't matter. Tacos, sure. Salad, sure. A hamburger, sure. Pizza, definitely. Puffy Cheetos, that is one that is a little bit stronger of a craving. They were on sale at the grocery store and I didn't buy any and now all I can think about is Puffy Cheetos. But seriously, any food. Chinese food, sure. Indian, sure. I guess the only thing that doesn't sound particularly good is soup. Soup, meh. Sure, if you bring it, I'll eat it. But any food sounds good, especially if it's food I don't have to make. Just give me all the food, all the cookies, all the cake, mostly all of the unhealthy stuff, but just all the food. So I've been getting a lot of Braxton Hicks contractions lately. Um, with Duncan, my first contraction I ever felt was when I was in labor and I had no idea what was going on. I had, I thought I had to use the bathroom and I tried a few times and I didn't have to use the bathroom, I was in labor. But this baby, I have been feeling Braxton Hicks contractions a ton and some of them are pretty painful. Most of the like articles online say they don't hurt, which I guess was true for Duncan. I didn't, um, I may have had them, but I didn't even feel them. But this baby, they're pretty painful, especially at night, I feel them the worst. Or if I have to pee, I feel them really bad. Um, and they make me have to pee, or feel like I have to pee. Um, I'll just like, I'll use the bathroom, go, I don't know, watch a show, watch a movie with my husband, and I swear, I have to use the bathroom so bad again. And I go, and it's, I don't, I just have so much tightening down in my, you know, my lower abdomen, that it makes me feel like I have to use the bathroom. And some of them are painful, but they're kind of fun, cause, you know, I'm gonna have a baby soon enough, so I don't mind them too much. But they're definitely worse at night, and some, like I said, are pretty painful. So I had my first ever pee my pants pregnancy experience. Sorry if I am saying the word pee too much, or talking about pee, but that is life. I had to go to the bathroom really bad. You know, I had been a whole like 30 minutes <laughs> since I had gone before, and I sneezed. And I peed my pants just a little bit. Pretty gross. It's the first time that's ever happened to me. I hear women who have had lots of children talk about all the time, like even after they're not pregnant anymore, the problems with that issue. And I've never experienced it myself, um, but it's there. I peed my pants, so there's that. <laughs> And I have been feeling this baby kick a ton, which is a lot of fun, especially like, immediately after I eat. He gets, you know, the food and wiggles around a lot. And I tried to get my son, Duncan, to feel my belly the other day. Um, and I was explaining to him that the baby was kicking and he's so cute. He's like, is he kicking a ball? No, there's no ball in there. But he likes to look at my belly and kiss my belly and his favorite thing to do, he'll just like grab at my belly and say, get it out. So he's really excited to meet his brother and I just have to keep reminding him like he'll come when he's ready. He still has lots of growing to do. One more symptom I have noticed recently. Sorry if you don't wanna hear about it, but it's my video. I'll talk about what I want. But my boobs are finally getting bigger. Um, when I was pregnant with Duncan, that was one of the very first things I noticed. Like, I swore they seemed bigger. So I was like, Jensen, I needed to take a test. And I had taken probably half a dozen tests while we were trying to get pregnant. He's like, don't waste your money. I don't, you know, you're not pregnant. Don't get too excited. I was like, no, I swear my boobs are bigger. So I bought a test and I took it that next morning and I was pregnant. But I have had my babies pretty close together. Duncan and Quinn are 20 months apart, and then this baby and Quinn are also 20 months apart. In both Duncan and Quinn, I've nursed um, for about 14 months, so they were both over a year. So I have either been pregnant, or nursing a baby, or both, for about four years now, um, when I first got pregnant with Duncan. So because of that, my boobs have not like, gone down to their pre-baby size, which is basically non-existent. Like seriously, I can buy, or I could, buy bras from the little kids section. So I haven't really noticed much of a change um, since I had Duncan. 
you know, when I quit nursing, they do go smaller. But anyway, enough boob talk. They're getting bigger, which to me is exciting. Kind of balances out the baby bump a little bit and my hips a little bit. So that's the fun perk, I guess, <laughs> of being pregnant. So that's all I have for this video today. Hopefully it wasn't too much pee and boob talk for you. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.